Hey everyone and welcome to a new video on Byte of Geek. Today I'm going to be taking a look at something that makes adding Zigbee devices to your network super, super easy. So let's check it out. So if you've been following my channel, you will have seen some of my videos recently where I've gone down the Home Assistant rabbit hole and started setting up a smart home network. And you know, part of that series, you know, one of the things I wanted to do was to get Zigbee-based devices onto that network. Uh, you know, in a previous setup, you know, I didn't have any Zigbee devices, so I went down a very particular route uh, of doing that. And um, you know, there are obviously lots of different routes that you can you can go. Um, you know, but I did a video about that on the channel. Uh, and the guys over at Zemi Smart obviously saw some of these videos and said, hey, you know, would you like to take a look at some of our products? And, you know, in particular, you know, the Zemi Smart Zigbee uh, hub, uh, you know, they sent out a couple of other devices as well. Um, so, you know, I'm all for bringing things to uh, the viewers on my channel, uh, you know, so that you can uh, take a look at these products. Uh, you know, they've not paid anything for this. You know, they've just sent these out. I get to use them at the end of the video. Um, and, you know, like all these reviews, you know, you get my honest opinion on them. So just before we get to unboxing and setup, let's just have a quick look at what they've sent here. So they've sent me the Zigbee-based hub, a uh, nice little puck-sized unit. Um, you know, you don't actually need a computer for this. I think that's one of the the main things to point out here. They've also sent over a wall switch. So being in the UK and uh, having a house of a certain age, you know, I um, have a requirement to have a no neutral wire at the switch. So this Zigbee switch um, doesn't need a neutral wire. Hooray, I hear everybody cheer uh, who's watching the video from the UK. Um, so, um, you know, this is a one gang uh, switch. They do one, two and three gang switches. So absolutely great to have that. Um, and the, the final thing that they've sent over is also this, um, this kind of like this scene switch button. So this is uh, a battery operated switch. It's got four switches and, you know, I'll, I'll demonstrate some of that functionality there. There was another product that's on its way, but I think that's got lost in shipping somewhere. So I've gone with the, uh, the three out of the four devices that they've sent. So first of all, then let's have a look at the uh, hub itself and see what you get in the box. So here we have the hub, um, you know, quite a small box. Uh, not expecting a lot in here, so you get the hub itself, um, you know, fairly lightweight uh, unit, got a little LED bar around the front, on the back you've got micro USB, uh, Ethernet port and reset switch, uh, get your instruction guide, so Apple HomeKit support, worth pointing that out, and then you get, um, I'm assuming is an accessories pack here as well, uh, so inside we've got uh, uh, little Ethernet cable and USB cable. That, that Ethernet cable is really quite short, so you'll have to, if you're going to use that, consider where you're going to locate it. And then you get roll plugs and uh, screws as well, yeah, um, because you can use this back plate to go and mount this hub to a wall or something like that. If that's what you, uh, if that's what you want to, you just literally just click it into place on the back, and then um, you can you can fix that to a wall really straightforward looking unit nothing overly fancy on it instruction manual it takes you through all the different steps you are going to have to download the smart life app there are plenty of videos on my channel showing you how to use the smart life app if you've not gone and used that before um, but uh, you yeah, know plenty of instructions in here whether you're going to use HomeKit or smart life so let's get this connected up to some power so we'll just get the uh, the USB and the Ethernet connected. So once you've got your hub in pairing mode, you go into your Smart Life app and add a device. Uh, if you don't know how to use Smart Life app, there's uh, quite a few videos on the channel that uh, show you how to use that. Uh, but you scroll down to a gateway, and uh, you want the Zigbee slash BLE gateway that's on the on the right hand side of the screen there. And you just press on that, and then follow the on screen instructions. Uh, you just got to give it a few seconds, probably about 10 seconds really, just to um, kind of find the, uh, the the hub itself in your your network, as it were. 
Um, once it's found that, uh, you'll get that displayed on your screen uh, just like this. And then you just click on the little plus there. And, and this takes you know, quite a few, just as many seconds really, about another 20 seconds, something like that, just to go through um, and uh, actually you know, configure it and put it into Smart Life and um, <laughs> everything else that it needs to do. Um, but once that's finished, um, you will be then presented with this, uh, you know, done um, effectively. And then the way the smart, uh, the Zigbee Hub works is it is a subgroup of devices within Smart Life. So, you know, when you when you choose it as a device off the list on the front page, you then get to add sub devices. So I'm going to add on the smart scene switch. So I'm going to put this into uh, kind of like, you know, reset it, put it into pairing mode. And, um, you know, like, as I say, a lot of these devices kind of like 10 seconds to get it into a, a mode like that. So, um, you know, I'm going to kind of like same kind of process. You know, it's a discovering the Zigbee device on the network again. And then once it's found that, uh, there you go, I've got a little notification there that it's uh, it's found it. So I've uh, got the message on the screen and the notification. Um, the a four gang switch effectively has been added in. So I, yeah, I get a, quite an interesting interface here. I, I can basically configure, um, you know, if they say add intelligence. So I can, you know, you can add effectively um, actions per button um, that I've got there. So I've got a couple of scenes set up here. I've got office light um, switch on and office light switch off. So, um, you know, I can set uh, on a on this button one, I can set you know a single click or a long press or uh, you know a double click, um, and uh, you know configure those three different states for each of those four buttons that are on this smart scene switch. So to give me kind of like a bit of a an on off switch here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just uh, configure button four. I'm going to set that for a single click, and. Um, I've got a table lamp that is connected to a Wi-Fi switch. So um, you know, I'm going to set this basically to toggle the uh, switch state when I press the, uh, the, the button number four on that. And uh, as you can see there, it, when I click it, it turns the light out. And uh, when I click it again, it turns the light on. So that is a Zigbee switch talking to a Zigbee gateway. Uh, talking to a Wi-Fi switch that's controlling my t uh, table lamp. So in terms of the light switch, well, you know, this is the Zigbee one. As I've mentioned, you can get this in various options, uh, configurations and Wi-Fi one as well. If you want to have Wi-Fi, uh, not expecting much in the box. You know, it is just a, a light switch um, you know, for your wall. So we've got the switch and we've just got a little packet of uh, screws for connecting to your uh, back box. And um, this switch should, should just fit in a standard UK uh, back box, so it's quite slim uh, for a profile. Um, it's a plastic fronted switch. It's got a, a metal uh, back plate and you can detach the, uh, the front plastic off of that metal and you have to do that when you're installing it. Um, it you know, kind of like a matte white uh, finish on it, not glossy, like kind of you see a lot of uh, UK light switches. It's not a full rocker switch either. It's just a, a subtle uh, clicky switch. A um, little LED light on the front there. Uh, but yeah, you know, not, uh, not unpleasant. So the next thing I'm going to do is install the wall switch. Now, if you're not comfortable working with electrics, please seek the assistance of a qualified electrician. If you're going to do it yourself, best practice is to take the fuse out of the fuse box so nobody can accidentally go and turn everything back on whilst you're working on it. Um, but, you know, always use some kind of tester as well just to make sure those wires are actually not live whilst you're working on it. Um, and I would also, you know, just in case anything goes wrong and you want to put it all back together or whatever, is uh, take a picture. You know, make sure you know how those wires go back. Otherwise, you will be calling out an electrician to go and work it out for you. So now I've got the switch fixed in place. It's just a case really of pairing it with uh, the hub. Just follow the same procedure as it was for the uh, scene switch. And um, rather than just press the button on the switch itself to turn the light on and off, who wants to do that? 
um, you know, you've got a smart home, so let's use our voice assistant. Alexa, turn on the office light switch. Okay. So there you go, those are the three devices. So first off then, the, uh, the hub. Um, well, you know, it just makes it super, super easy to get Zigbee devices onto your network. Um, you know, you don't need to go down the Home Assistant route. If, if you want to start out and, and just kind of like get smart devices set up in your home, uh, then, you know, this is a sensible option. You know, if you just want to try things out and see whether smart devices are the thing for you, um, then, you know, this is a really good option. Uh, it's a small discrete device you can stick this in a cupboard somewhere you stick it on the top of the shelf nobody you know be none the wiser uh, that it was there you don't have to have a computer all set up for it um it, you know it just works uh you know, i think it's a a really good you know a, a beginner type thing and you know obviously you know if you're more exper experienced with this kind of thing i think you know it's a another good option but you know if you are a beginner with smart home and you know you are unsure about spending out hundreds of pounds on computers and things like that and messing around with home assistant and you know you just want to get things like smart plugs um you know bulbs uh, you know temperature sensors and things like that all hooked up and you don't want them on a wi-fi network then this is a really really good uh, solution from that point of view in terms of the wall switch well again super easy to get set up uh, i love the smart speaker integration um, my only comment on this would probably be the little LED that's on the switch itself, uh, a little bit too small for my liking. I think I prefer that to be a little bit larger, um, just so it's a little bit um, more noticeable. But super responsive, uh, you know, you could see that in the uh, and, and hear that in the videos. Um, so again, you know, really nice uh, switch. And of course, if you are in the UK and you don't have a neutral. At your switch then this is absolutely perfect for you it's so difficult to get um, smart switches that um, don't need a neutral wire so you know hats off to uh, Zemi smart for providing uh, something like this um, I don't know whether they do it in any different colors other than white you know if they do um, great you know if they don't um, you know obviously you know it'd be good to see those in some other some other options and the smart scene switch well you, know, you could have an awful lot of fun with this you know i just barely scratched the surface with that you've got four buttons that you can have uh, lots of different actions on each of those buttons uh, it's battery operated so you can stick it anywhere have it as a control pad on a coffee table or stick it on the wall or something like that um you know obviously some of the stuff you saw there in those clips um you know as i was setting things up you know i was using wi-fi devices with a zigbee uh, switch so you know the fact that you've got all of that integration going through the hub and into smart life uh, you know that's what people want you know they don't want to um, you know stick to one particular thing because they can't find all of the devices on one particular um, you know networking protocol so to be able to have and use things across uh, you know, Wi-Fi or Zigbee and use them all together. I think it's just absolutely, um, you know, brilliant. And yeah, I'm going to have a, a, a further play around with that uh, that scene switch. I think the, you know, the uh, possibilities there are uh, very interesting. So I, I'm really interested to hear your thoughts on these things that I've shown you today. Um, you know, have you used any of these? Are you using any of these at the moment? Do you use anything similar? Uh, you know, let me know down below in the comments. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, then hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Um, but as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.